I am so happy that you're able to join us for this extended interview. Make sure to visit theoffbeatlife.com. Again, that's theoffbeatlife.com to get more killer resources. Hey friend, have you been thinking about creating a freedom lifestyle by starting your own podcast? Well, lucky for you, I have created a new one-on-one podcasting program. From starting, branding, marketing, monetizing, and scaling, we cover it all. If you're interested, send me an email at hello at theoffbeatlife.com with the subject line podcast program to learn more. Again, email me at hello at theoffbeatlife.com with a subject line podcast program. I will see you there. Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here for this extended interview with Mackenzie where she's going to share with us how to create a strong and consistent brand voice for your business. Hey Mackenzie. Hey, hey. Thank you so much for being here. Before we get to all of your amazing tips and tricks, can you tell us about you and why you live an offbeat life? Yes, so I went from Fortune 500 copywriter going in my nine to five hating life wearing shoes that were so uncomfortable (laughs) to yoga pants all day. Every day I am a copywriter for coaches. Now I own my own business. I'm growing my own empire all from home and I'm obsessed. So are we because you're amazing and you're also very hilarious. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Mackenzie, you have a zone of genius is copywriting and really allowing people to have a strong brand voice, right? What does that actually mean? Why is it so important to have that when you want to create a successful brand for yourself? Yeah, so... Brand voice is everything. It's the words you use and how you use them. It's how you relate to your people, how you let them know who you are, your, you know, mission and vision and values and things like that. But to me, the most important thing about brand voice is it allows your audience, if you do it right, (laughs) to feel like heard to feel seen and understood like you get them and they get you and it's just a beautiful lovely thing I love that so when you start working with a client and they want to make sure that they are really seen and they're attracting the right audience for their company for their services or products what is it that they should typically do first? Like what's the first thing that they have to do in order to get to that point? So I would say the first thing is to know your audience. And here's why, because it sounds funny since I'm like, be yourself, but know your audience. I say know your audience because you need to know if their values and attributes and whatnot align with yours. And if they don't, I say restructure so that you're talking to the people that you most naturally connect with so that you can be yourself with your brand voice in your messaging and naturally have that flow of like fans of people who are like, yes, you get me. I get Mm -hmm. you. Let's take my money. I don't care. I'm loving this. So to know your audience and to make sure you're in the right spot and then to know you, you know, your brand's core identity. Love it. So what about if you don't have an audience yet, right? And you're just starting out. How do you make sure that you are going after or you're asking or you're doing research in the right place? Yeah. So if you are like niching down and you're not sure who your audience should be, or you've had any sort of experience and you just don't know who your audience should be, I say, take a look at the people that you've worked with in the past. Who has gotten the best results? Who have you enjoyed working with? Who has enjoyed working with you? Who gets the absolute most out of your service or what you have to offer? And then if you're just, you know, straight out of school, you don't know, do some digging, just try everything. That's what I did. I tried every sort of copywriting for every sort of kind of industry. And that's how I fell into copywriting for coaches because I just kept attracting coaches. And then I'm like, these are the people I really enjoy. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. And it's so interesting because sometimes they really find you too. (laughs) Yeah, it's crazy. It's like here, I'm attracting you to me, but (laughs) that is a good thing. That means it's a lot less work once you finally do that. 
So let's talk about creating that brand voice, right? So what does it actually entail, Mackenzie? How do you create that brand voice to still make sure that it's authentic to you, but it will also attract the people that you want? Yeah. So knowing your audience and knowing your brand's core identity. So how are you going to enrich you know, your clients' lives with your offers? Who are you striving to become in the future? Like, What is that goal for your business, for your brand? And then kind of aligning the two, putting them together. And from there, adding emotion, documenting it so you know, like, especially if you are hiring copywriters or even just a VA to do some social media work or anything, you want your brand voice to be consistent across the board. So you want to be using, you know, if we use contractions or we don't or anything like that, um, having brand voice guidelines, a brand style, brand voice style guide, whatever it is you want to call it. I call it the brand messaging Bible. Definitely having one of those on hand is going to keep everything consistent. So what does that mean? What is a brand messaging Bible or a brand guide? Yes. So that's where I write down and I have like a whole template of it. Um, in my group copy coaching program, we have a whole session around that. And I provide, you know, the template of these are words we use. These are words we don't. These are values These are not what we are. So when anybody new is joining your team, it's also just a great exercise in general so that you know who you really are. Anytime you need, you can refer back to it. But that like exercise of we are, you know, kind, we are not. What is that? What is like kind, but like when people walk a pushover, like that sort of thing. So just really getting clear about exactly who you are, how you communicate, And then getting into like even the words we use, the words we don't, best practices for videos and do we use emojis, things like that. I love that. And that also makes it so much more easier for you to be able to create your future messaging. It's like amazing when it's a lot less work for you. Yeah, and absolutely. And outsourcing, like I said, if you have team members, whether they're like writing your a ton of it or not, like they're still writing things you want to that consistency. It's good for them to have and, you know, rely on. Absolutely. So what other tips can you share with us for someone who really wants to make sure that they stand out with their brand voice, their story? Yeah. So I would say my first thing is to take a step back and make sure the way that you are communicating and you are thinking is like super you is actually what feels natural and so, so good to you and not just like what you've seen other people doing. And you're like, I like that. Like, let me do that. Because there is a difference and it can be easy to be think that it's like, no, that is me. And then it's like, oh, but do I like really have to try in my messaging like to sound this way? Um, and then I also would say, take note of the words that you use often. Like, look at those posts that perform the best. How are you you know, speaking and how is your communication in that? What terms are you using? And kind of just going from there to build that and structure it out like piece by piece. Love that. Thank you so much, Mackenzie. So if our listeners want to know more about you, maybe they need your guidance to also create these incredible messaging for their brand, where can they find you? Yes. So follow me on Instagram because I am super fun at Mackenzie, M-A-C-K-E-N-Z-I-E, B as in boy, and then Fleming, F-L-E-M-I-N-G. And then I also have my website, which is MackenzieBFleming.com. But you can find all that through the link in my bio on Instagram, where there are also a lot of goodies. And I also have um, a brand voice and personality workbook freebie that's called copy on the rocks. So you'll want to snag that too. (laughs) Awesome. Thank you so much, Mackenzie. We really appreciate all of the tips and tricks you shared with us today. Yes. Thank you for having me. I hope you enjoyed this extended interview with Mackenzie. Make sure to visit theoffbeatlife.com. Again, that's theoffbeatlife.com to get the full interview where she shares how she's been able to help powerhouse female entrepreneurs spice up their brand and business through their messaging. Hey friend, are you looking to land a remote gig ASAP? Well, did you know that we not only have a ton of online jobs you can apply to on our site, but now we are also sending them straight to your inbox. 
I'm happy to announce that we will be sending our email subscribers legit online jobs every Wednesday. We have done hours of research so you don't have to. If you want to be the first one to hear about the remote gigs we find, go to theoffbeatlife.com to subscribe. Thanks for joining me on this extended interview. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review on iTunes. We can also chat some more on Facebook at The OB Life. I'll talk to you soon.